The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the Baron thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The Crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the Crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the Crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelark's a good tutor. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, an important feast is observed. Seem. Havelark's a good. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. Havelach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthia, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalarch's student. Should I shoot? Hey, the white one once served the ladies. But he's an old so Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fire us down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. Mentioned a gate. Said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Velen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? No need for anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. 
we send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling, scared to death, and about eight years old. Stay calm. Your children, why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman who'd make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're afire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Already. That's him. He can never know. We each one. Yeah? Let me see what you're on. So long. For a hard winter. Oh, we'll get plenty, don't we, Fred? If only that girl down ladies. Merciful ladies. My grandson, give him health. He works his share of mischief. Look, a child. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. See you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you. I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. Even more so. Figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there. 
past the gate. But only old Thekla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief. You're worse than children. Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. What good is he? Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the Crones. Big bloke, in full plate? Go in the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck, and do hope we meet again, someday. Moons are rising, owls hoot. It's not ready. You've got to wait. It's clearing up. Mm. Who's that? Well, come on, come closer, girl. Aye. What's she like? Narrow hips, sparkly eyes, a striking feisty lass. Never had a man. <sighs> Never mind. Got me answer. I choose you, girl. This night you shall see the ladies. If she goes up the mountain, I go with her. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. <sighs> Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus, it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them, and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eye, so she's like to be the last. I'm going with her. <laughs> He's firing his gut. What do you see? He's determined. He loves the girl, but he seeks to hide it from us. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right you may appeal my choice, but to do so you must best the challenge. What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. What's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Auron. Now, bring me the coin.
I was beginning to worry. Come, let's Something get the key. Afoot. Something's not. Geralt? They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there. But only the Chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want... You'll learn nothing else here. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, gonna keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for ye. Now go! Weren't the one to do the diving in that cave. Stop one. You're a witcher. You've dived in murky waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted the Zuba. What's your name, girl? What's yours? <clears throat> your name don't matter. Atop the peak, you'll lose it and get another. You may go. And you? I passed the trial. Here's proof. Recognize it? The Defiers, Oren. A death sentence. No time to lose. I'll tend to Imlirith, you take the crones. Avalarch said they dwell below the oak, among its roots. No chance. I'm going after Imlirith. <sighs> Fine, let's play for it. Rock, paper, scissors. Damn it! Two out of three! Out of the question. I'll climb the mountain, you face the crones. Hardly a challenge. They're extremely dangerous. Be careful. You too. I must get down there. Oh, hell. I guess I must jump. Yeah. 
how was he? He lived a life of love and knew no bitterness. Return. Your taste lingers on our tongues. You've talked enough.
that's at the summit. Gotta be. Place of power. Should draw from it. The sisters said you would come. They saw you arrive in the water's surface. They did not see the girl. But she is with you, is she not? Yeah, we're both here. Where is the girl? Doesn't matter. You'll never get her. You fall. I trust this time will be no different. Himmlerith's at the summit. Gotta be. Hmm. 
magic. A place of power. They didn't. Yeah. What? Doesn't. to fight like this. The Witcher you slew. We did it. Barely. How'd it go down there? I slew only two of the crones. The third fled with Vesemir's medallion. My sole memento. Coming here? Good idea. 
I knew we'd succeed. From the start. Now to find Eredin and kill him. Anorin, for your thoughts? Wondering what to tell Yennefer when we get to Novigrad. Tell her the truth. Always. I wonder if Triss and Yennefer have found the sorceresses at the Lodge. We ought to rejoin them. Give me a minute. I'm old. Need more rest. Hmm. You are, and you do. Let's stay a bit longer. So, off to Novigrad then? Yeah, let's get going. Let's go. The Oak is dead. The Oak, the Crones. I fear that was your last feast. What of our acorns? must learn to live without them. This is no longer no man's land. It's no longer the lady's land. It's all yours. But what are we to do? Come, Geralt. It's time. Manage. On your own. Humans. Thought it was mages the hunters and the temple guard were after. Mages left. Hunters needed a new quarry. Hatred and prejudice will never be eradicated. And witch hunts will never be about witches. To have a scapegoat, that's the key. Humans always fear the alien, the odd. Once the mages had left Novigrad, folk turned their anger against the other races, and as they have for ages, branded their neighbors their greatest foes. Found you. Glad to see you in one piece too, Dandelion. Where have you two been? Just finished hunting down the crones of Velen and a general of the Wild Hunt. Well, you were a busy mom then, I wouldn't say. In fact, you look terrible. Like you could really use some rest. Gladly take some. Point me to a room. Of course. Come on, little swallow. I'll take you. Let's meet later, girls. A little matter to resolve. I'll freshen up, then await you in the square in Gildorf. Right. Triss is upstairs, waiting for you. Yennefer's gone to Crippled Kate's. Yen? At that portside dive? Why? Didn't inform me. 
Imagine that. Ah, and that elf of yours moved into the ruby suite. Told me to tell you he's waiting, too. Gave him your best room? He didn't exactly ask. I prepared another room for him, but he blew past me and locked himself in the ruby. Hasn't peeked out since. Barely eats, drinks only water, and the only thing I've heard from him is, I wish to know when Windblade and Zeriel arrive. Thanks. Looks like I'll have my hands full. I'll give you all some little bit of heroic deeds, but the matter, well, oh, I've worked up quite the appetite.